Good morning. I love your smile. Yes, I do. Ooh, I love your smile. Ah, ah. Good morning. Hi. How's everybody doing? Everybody's okay? Everybody's all right? Everybody's good? Everybody's fine? Yes, Lord. Hello? Hey, hello? Good morning. All right, y'all, listen. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood, and, and we're having a great day today, and I'm just excited to see you and you, and yes, you too. What are they talking about? Huh? What are they talking about? Oh, hell no. I don't know why black men do that. Who got flip flops and socks on? Mm -hmm. There must be. With no socks. There must. That's all right. No, when but come up here no, with honey. all y'all muscles <laughs> and, yeah. your, and your pants falling down because uh, your waist is getting. He gonna yeah. be like. Who wears flip flops and socks? That is so <laughs> black. <laughs> what? Flip flops with no socks. I wear homeless. No, it doesn't. I wear flip flops without socks, honey. Different. Who wears flip flops with uh, socks? Men. No, men don't wear it. That is so. Negro ish. No, well, I guess I'm at home. Yeah, no, why do you wear? Why would you? Why would you wear flip flops with socks? Because that's what men do. No, that ain't what men do. That's what po people do. No, because if, they, if, if, they, if that's the case, they would be flip flops. If you need socks, no, or you wear socks with tennis shoes. Do what? Off the front. Uh, uh, if they coming off the front, now that's now that yeah, that says you're poor, but. No. Unless you're at the beach, I don't want to see your feet. If you're not at the beach, well, how in the hell I'm gonna wear socks at the damn beach? Huh? Why would I wear socks at the beach with flip flops? I'm saying that's the only time you don't wear socks with slides is when you're at the beach. That is so black. But anyway, honey, I don't wear no that's damn Atlanta. socks with no flip flops. That's, yeah, that, that's not just Atlanta. It's a lot of these Negroes be wearing socks okay. with flip flops, honey. Look at a man's feet. You ain't got to look down. Well, they don't need to be um, around me then. You ain't got to look at No, you don't, have to, you don't have to look at Thank you. You don't have to look at a lot of things, honey. I see a man with his toes out. I get disgusted. I want to report him to the TSA. But I'm just saying, like, why are you looking down at because his toes? You ain't got to look at his toes. It's disgusting because right. they're out. Um, Ashton, I called you um, a couple of days. Because yeah. they're out. But yeah, Exactly. So that's right there. You're forcing me to look at your feet. And I was about yeah. But you don't have to look at a woman. Um, no damn panty lines so neither. Hell. Yeah, so, but anyway, Paul, um, I called you, honey, for your birthday, honey. You never turned my call, but you know what? That's okay, Paul. I understand. I know you're busy. You're a celebrity, honey. Hi, Cheryl, darling, my love. Tell everybody hi in Los Angeles. But um, listen. You don't men put toes feet. in your mouth? Hell. Men's feet are disgusting. Men's feet are not I disgusting. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Listen, y'all, today, honey, um, I'm tell I talked about this. What, how do y'all feel about a woman buying a man a car? Now, um, um, Ashante bought um, Nelly a car. They said she bought him a car for his birthday. He bought her some diamonds, talking about thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but that was some cheap diamonds. Good. They were Pave. When you buy Pave diamonds, that means you're not buying wow. diamonds. You're buying wow. diamond chips, honey. Right so, but, um, but nevertheless... Okay. It was really a really horrible thing. I was very hurt that she would buy him a car. When you buy a man a car, that means he's going to drive out of your life in that car. So you should never buy a man a car. Like they tell women a long time ago, you should never buy a man no shoes because he's going to walk out your life in no shoes. So why would she have did that? Why would she have done such a thing, honey? I need to know, would y'all buy y'all man a car? Or would y'all just give him a bicycle and let him ride his bicycle? <laughs> you don't buy no man no car, honey. You give him a bike. Get a so bicycle. You give him a damn bicycle, honey. And he's going to ride that damn bicycle out your damn life. Well, he can ride, but you can ride that bike out of my life, but you ain't going to drive out the car, leave, boss. Yeah. No, honey, you, but you won't be driving. He's going to do an Olita Adams. He's going to do an Olita Adams. He can lead by trailway, by railway, by flying carpet. If you don't want to be with your ass, he's going to find a way to leave. But you won't be driving out the damn car I bought you neither, honey. Well, I'm riding on that bike you bought me. It's <laughs> your ass will be riding a bicycle. Either way, either way it's going, getting the hell on. You'll be riding a bicycle. But anyway, I think it's sad. And then he left already before, honey. And then she's going to buy him a car. I, I just couldn't do it. I feel so bad for her. I hope her mom was somewhere around to help out, but evidently not. 
because, honey, she did bought the car. But nevertheless, ask some people how they feel about Morris Chestnut. Uh, yeah. yeah, and Morris Chestnut. Oh yeah, we talked about Morris Chestnut too. Morris is a wonderful guy. He's a great actor. He's been around for a while. He's been married to his beautiful wife really. for twenty eight years. And, uh, 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 and look at that Negro there. <laughs> yeah, look at him. And he don't who got those uh, slippers and socks. <laughs> oh, great, great socks. Great tip socks. I'm trying to be like you. Oh, well, but I don't wear um, cheap sandals. But anyway, <laughs> so, hey, but nevertheless, he, um, Marty said he'd been with his wife for 28 years, y'all, and he has mm-hmm. never cheated. Never. Morris Chestnut said he never cheated. He never even looked at another woman's butt. So, honey, so, so, so that's a good thing. When you get a man that never cheats, when you get a man that never cheats on his wife, honey, that's what, that's what you call true love, honey. And I think more men need to do that, honey. I mean, more men need to love their wife and don't cheat. And it's really difficult when you're, like, when you're a sex symbol, really? like Mark Chetnut or Idris Elba or myself, mm-hmm. it's really, the pressure, the pressure to remain faithful is really difficult. Why? Because men of our status, like Mark Chetnut, Idris, LL Cool J, myself, mm-hmm. um, it's really tough. Really? But you just have to have a strong belief system. You have to have a lot of discipline and just know how to keep them hoes off off you. Really? Yeah. Oh. Speaking for all the sexy men out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that sad though? Yeah, I feel so bad. So y'all, you know, you ladies. No, no, you ain't even honey, we just even glazed over you, honey, please. But anyway, y'all I, y'all just Keep you know everybody lifted in prayer, y'all. Especially, honey, you know the women that's buying men cars, the men that's not cheating on their wives or what have you. Honey, it's it's it's, it's, it's too much, honey. It's, it's it's sad, honey. I just feel bad. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Ernest. And Ernest, um, he's one of those guys. He never really cheated. Hi, I miss you too, baby. Where you been? Who is that y'all got in there? Who is that? Huh? Who? Smith. Who? Joe Smith. Who? Oh, oh, the woman is the talent or the guy is the talent? The, huh? Who's the talent? The guy. Joe Smith. What, what he does? Uh, the NBA player who wife. Oh, that's oh, him. Man. Oh, that's him. Now, that's Joe. His wife went on, on social media and said, baby, honey, yeah, she got a, a, a fans page, a, a, um, the only fans page. She needs one. Oh, really? He looks different. Uh-huh. He's skinny. So, but anyway, huh? Oh, that is so. Action said he's been with his wife for a long time. He never cheated. That is so amazing. It's nice when you don't cheat, honey. But they say love is better when you steal it, though. So I don't know. I mean, y'all heard that? They say love is better when you steal. Well, good morning, Brian. Are you back in the states? Are you still in Los Angeles? Because we hadn't heard from you. But, um, yeah, well, that's good, honey. I ain't never cheating either, so, honey, I don't cheat, baby. Because, first of all, honey, I'm saving myself for Jesus. So, honey, I ain't none of that happening. Yes, Lord, honey, I'm saving myself, honey. Well, nah, so, but anyway. All right, y'all, well, listen. When, oh, we're about to go back. It's almost time to get off. I'm so excited. And today is Friday Eve, y'all. Are y'all excited? It's Friday Eve. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, listen. I'm gonna go. Um, so, oh, so y'all got him on y'all show then. So, so, oh, so he's a, so he's a star again then. Since. Well, he coming to speak his piece. You know, we had to wipe earlier. Oh, really? She was on the show. Oh, she was on the show. She was on the air or in person. Both. Oh, she was here. She just left. Oh, really? She just left. Oh, child, please, honey. I'm gonna listen to the more castle. I know. Well, hi, Miss. How are you? Uh, but, uh, but yes. So, hey, Maria. Did you know who that guy was? That's the guy who wife did the video. Yeah. I didn't know that. Is she coming on our show? Which we don't get. Oh, we're not going to give a damn. Yeah, so she do what she want to do. Imagine. People who have slides to work. Who got on the ball mon and who got on no, whatever that shit is? Who got advanced or what? Honey, um, these are ball mon, uh-huh. boo. Google them. 
Go, go, go. Ball mom. But anyway. Hey, Malcolm. Malcolm, did you get that chinchilla yet? It's, wait, yeah, honey, it's cold. Huh? I don't like that comment. Wearing flags to work is a sign of disrespect to your employer. It is. <laughs> it's very disrespectful. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> and if it's cold enough, yeah. you wear a jacket. Huh? Yeah. It's and too cold to wear Yes, that is so jacked up, honey. I like people wear a jacket, but then they wear shorts. A jacket and slippers. That is so tacky. This is what comfort is. No, no, nigga, we're not doing about comfort. This is what comfort But we ain't worried about comfort. I got my shoes, though. I got my tennis shoes in the, in the room. Well, just, yeah, well, you, you know, it's the hell with comfort. You need to pick one, okay? I just took them off, but I got my shoes. I just took them off. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. So, uh, hold on, hold on. Run on. Me get your ass out of your house. Go to your shelf. But anyway, y'all, yes. Oh, yeah, so, so y'all remember the story of the guy, the woman who did the, um, she has an um, OnlyFans page. Um, and, you know, she said she deserved where he, they're here. They're in the studio. He's here. And, you know, so... But he, child, they got five more minutes left of fame. When Andy Warhol said we were gonna get fifteen minutes, his, red, his wife already took ten, so he got five more minutes, child. So girl, go ahead and do it, cause ain't nobody care, honey, cause she gonna do what she wanna do. She did what she wanted to do. She said your ass was broke, so you know if he's broke, I mean, you know they want him to do what she had to do. Wouldn't y'all do that if your spouse, honey, once upon a time had a lot of money, he made sixty-seven million dollars, honey, in his um, career, and now. Your wife got to do an OnlyFans page, honey. That's, um, you know, oh, he, that's, um, he, he looks a mess. That's, honey, a woman doing what she got to do. So, hey, I got my OnlyFans page, too. Y'all need to go check it out, honey. So, y'all get to see everything, honey. Everything. So, child. Child, he, he at work, honey. So, he at work, Malcolm. But anyway. Um, I'm, um, I'm gonna go see what, honey, he talking about y'all, honey, about, honey, him and his wife, honey, why she did her OnlyFans page. She, she did what she had to do. So, there you go. But anyway, all right, well, I'm, uh, um, I'm just to go, um, I'm, I'm gonna go back in the studio. And Steph, hi Steph. Oh Steph, congratulations on your award. Mm -hmm. Baby, you're doing it up on Miss Southwest Airline. My niece um is a manager at Southwest Airline out there with y'all, Steph. So congratulations to you, honey. Baby, you're every woman, child. Hey Vaughn. Good morning, y'all. Hi, Ron dear. So yes, Lord, honey. I'm like, all right, Miss Stephanie, baby. And you was the only black honey in the room, honey, from what I think I saw on those pictures, child. So you're doing it. And little Rihanna is all grown up, baby. These girls are doing it. you raising them children where you ain't pig, honey, are raising those kids well, honey. So congratulations, honey. I remember when they was eggs. Now they grown children. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Uh, Donka. What, what is he? Um, Donka. What is he doing? Um, okay, now listen. I'm going to go back to my room, honey, okay? Listen, I want y'all to have a great day and a better tomorrow. Don't y'all forget to tune into the podcast, Gary's Tea, honey. It's going to be airing in tomorrow, so tune in for Gary's Tea, wherever podcast can be heard. And also, don't forget, honey, Dare I Said It, that's today, yesterday. But um, y'all tune into those as well, honey. You all are so beautiful. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And have a great day. Feliz Navidad. Okay.